Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression and review on the new MAC Studio Waterweight SPF 30 foundation. And I've heard a lot of good things about this. This is MAC's first serum foundation, I believe. And I'm really excited to try this. As soon as I saw it went online, I ordered myself a bottle of it. So this is the first time I'm seeing it. It's quite heavy. It is a glass bottle. If you've ever seen my first impressions before, you see that I will apply this to my face. I will wear it throughout the day and check in periodically to see how this wears and just give my first impressions and my thoughts on how I'm liking this foundation. So let's go straight to the application and then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this foundation. To start off, I'm going to apply primer to one side of my face and then I'm gonna keep it off my other side just so you can see kind of if there's a difference. And currently I've been loving this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer, so that's what I'm gonna be using. I think on the Dr. Brandt site they're actually having a discount on uh, their products, so I'll leave the coupon code down below because I need to buy a full size of this. So I'll be doing the same thing, but if I can find it, I will leave it down below. So I'm just going to be applying this to the right side of my face. And just so you guys know, my skin type is normal to slightly dry. Right now it is actually slightly dry, especially on the lower part of my face. And I have a few dry patches, so we'll see if this foundation actually clings to them. So that's good that I'm actually dry today. <laughs> Typically with serum foundations, I like to apply it with my fingers, but I am going to try a beauty blender as well, just because uh, for other foundations, that's typically what I do. I'm just going to give this a shake. And I have this in NC30. I thought I would be a little bit more tan than I am right now, so this might be a little too dark. <laughs> so it comes with a dropper applicator. It's very thin in consistency. Kind of just playing around with it right now. And it says it has a gel serum-like texture. It definitely feels a little bit thicker than the one serum foundation I have tried in the past. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some to the left side of my face. So far it's very sheer. They say it's a buildable coverage though. So a sheer medium buildable coverage. So this is just one layer. We're going to see if it's buildable. Feels really nice going on the skin. They say it's hydrating and I can definitely see that. I don't think it's overly hydrating. So if you're oily, I don't think it's going to be an issue. And here's a second layer. It just glides on the skin, really easy to go on. I can't see this being more than a medium coverage. I feel like it's still on the sheer medium side. But it looks like skin, it has a really pretty finish if you can see that. Just gonna add some more to my forehead. So it's a pretty good color match actually. If you can see still my freckles are peeking through. But definitely evened everything out. And it has a beautiful finish to the skin. Really liking that. So now I'm going to try it with the Beauty Blender to my right side. Right now I can't tell a difference between the Beauty Blender and my fingers. So I would reach for my fingers as of right now just because it would be faster. So that's one layer with a Beauty Blender. Now we're going to add the second layer. I find the Beauty Blender actually kind of pulling off the foundation in spots. I think because the first layer was just starting to dry. So when you initially apply it, it's quite dewy. And then it dries down a bit. So it still has a nice skin-like finish, but not as crazy dewy as it is to begin. So right now this looks like a really pretty everyday foundation. If you use your fingers to apply this super fast and you get a really nice finish and fair amount of coverage, I'd say a medium coverage with two layers, but you can make it sheer as well. 
So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go and finish up the rest of my makeup and then come back and talk to you a little bit more about the product. I am back, I just quickly did my face. A couple things about this foundation. As I said before, it is a gel serum formula. It feels definitely more like a serum than a gel though, and it is in a dropper as you can see. Definitely feels weightless on the skin. It's very hydrating. It claims to be long lasting and that it doesn't oxidize. So far, it hasn't oxidized at all. It looks exactly the same as when I applied it earlier. There is 30 milliliters of product in here, which is one fluid ounce, which is the standard for most foundations. Also says it's a sheer medium buildable coverage, and I would say it's no more than medium. Definitely more on the sheer side, but you can definitely build it up to a medium. Uh, it's for sure not full coverage in my opinion. And it also claims to blur imperfections, which I say it does. It looks really good on camera right now. You can still see my freckles and stuff peeking through, which I like. It looks really natural, but flawless. So I really love this as a daily foundation, I think. And I love that I can use my fingers to apply it. I prefer that over the Beauty Blender, uh, in all honesty. And so that would make a really quick, easy, everyday sort of foundation if you're in a hurry or if you just want something super quick. I really love the application of that. There are a ton of shades to choose from, so I'm sure you'll be able to find a shade that will match you. My only question is, why didn't this release in the beginning of the summer is what I'm curious to know because this would have been perfect at the beginning of the summer because it does have a high SPF, uh, though you have to use a certain amount of the product to actually get the benefits of the SPF, just so you know. I also heard that the Smashbox BB Water is exactly the same as this, exactly the same. And the Smashbox one is more expensive, it doesn't have as many shades, so definitely go for the MAC one. You can use your pro discount on this. I'll leave the price up here somewhere. I forget how much it was offhand. I think it was 39 Canadian, but don't quote me on that. I will list it here. But you can use your 40% pro discount if you have that. And if you're curious about that Smashbox one, I would definitely pick this one up because as I said, it's cheaper and it's exactly the same thing. But the true test is to see how this wears throughout the day. So I'm going to check back in with you periodically throughout the day to just kind of see how it's setting on my skin and how it holds up because it does claim to be long wearing. just checking up with you throughout the day and showing you how the foundation was wearing. Overall, I'm really impressed. It did fade on various parts of my face. Uh, for instance, on my forehead, you can see all these uh, freckles on top of my forehead, but I think that's because I was constantly putting my hair back all day. It was quite hot today. I was outside for my walk, so I did get some exercise uh, with this foundation on, and it held up pretty well, even in the heat. So that's definitely a positive, but definitely can't be touching your face because it will wear off. And I have noticed that it has clung to some dry patches on my chin. That's typically where I'm the most dry. And it has clung on to some of those spots. But overall, it has held up really well. Generally, it has faded uh, from my face, but it uh, looks still pretty good. It hasn't faded enough to put me off this foundation. It's just the normal amount of fading, in my opinion. Still looks really good. And it's been on for quite a bit of time. I'm not sure how long exactly. It's seven o'clock now. Uh, I think I started at 10. 
So that is nine hours, which is really, really good. My first impression of this foundation is really good. I definitely recommend you go out and check it if you're curious, if you like a sheer to medium buildable foundation or serum foundations in general. I think you'll really like this one because I've tried serum foundations in the past. This one provides a little bit more coverage, which I personally like. It's definitely not full, but it definitely provides a little bit more coverage. And it still looks like skin, super easy to apply, really fast, so if you're on the go, busy mom like me, uh, this is the perfect foundation for a daily wear. So I'm really excited to find it. I'm gonna definitely test it out some more over the next month. Hopefully it happens to be in my, what month is it? September? September favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression and review. If you have any other questions in regards to this foundation, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just in case I forgot something in this video. I'm certain someone will probably ask about flashback because this does have quite a high SPF. So uh, let's just put that to the test right now. It's probably gonna be a horrible selfie. Let's, let's try. It's not the best photo, but let's turn this back on. So I didn't take the best photo, but uh, there's no flashback, which is awesome. So my face matches my neck. I do look quite uh, shiny. I am a little bit oily. I would like to touch up. I am a dry skin girl, so this is more dewy for me but I personally would like to touch up my makeup a little bit. Those are my first impressions on this foundation. As I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more first impressions from me. If there's any other products you'd like to see me try, also leave those in the comment section below and I'd love to check those out. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Update. Update. There's food on my face.